Hi guys, I'm Becca with Crafty Junk Journals and I am doing a collaboration with um, Rachel and Bella Crafts. I'm also using her digital kit, Christmas Past, a vintage journaling kit that I have on this side that I have already cut uh, most of it up. And uh, my letter is the letter I and it took me a little bit um, to figure out what I could do for the letter I. And then I thought about it. Everybody looks for inspiration on YouTube and these wonderful ladies that are doing the collaboration. So I thought I for inspiration w would be great. And I'm going to be using her kit, which I've already used um, some of them. And I have a little bit of that to show you to give you some inspiration. And here's the first one. And I use junk mail to make this. It's a junk, I say junk mail, I'm sorry, junk envelope um, that you normally throw away. And I put a paper clip and you would just um, paper clip it to your page and open it. And then I made a belly band here and decorated it um, with the kit. And then I used some papers that were left over and just kind of shoved them there because you can write on both of those. And then this piece flips out and there is some a hidden pocket in there and with writing space. And you can still write there. And then you have this bottom part where I put a little notepad and then this comes out a little journaling card all out of a junk envelope. So that is one piece of inspiration. This one is actually my favorite to make because it's so simple, um, quick, and I love pockets. I don't know who doesn't love pockets. So this uh, envelope has a pocket here and a pocket here. And I used her, um, her digital kit and I actually shrank it down some um, so that I could make a little booklet and just stick it in there. And then I also used that Dear Santa to, and I wanna take some sewing, but I haven't done that. Um, but you don't have to, if you don't have a sewing machine, just make you a tag and then there you go. So today I wanted to at least show you something um, with some envelopes. And you don't have to use um, just junk mail envelopes if you don't want to. I have a couple of, I have three here that was sent to me in, hap, uh, in a swap or happy mail. I can't quite remember which one. That was coffee dyed. And they're different sizes. So I thought I would make something out of these uh, using her uh, Rachel and Bella Crafts Christmas Past um, a vintage journal kit. Um, I've already cut all of them, all of the stuff up. Now I do have some pages that I haven't trimmed down and there's some pages that I printed wrong. Um, so I have those in there, but I thought I would just take um, these envelopes and make something. What do you think? So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this one this way because I want this for the back. I think. Hold on. Let me look. I did not um, do this beforehand, so we're going to do this all together. That's what I want to do. Okay, so let's get this right. So I am going to let's see. Sometimes it takes me time to think. So 
So that's what it was. So I'm sorry. We'll get with this. So um, I did not want to use this as a pocket right here. I actually want to glue this down. So we're going to glue. Oh, it may have a. Oh, it does, but it doesn't feel like it's sticky. So we're just going to take this glue stick. You can glue it with whatever you want. I'm just going to use a glue stick because I'll probably be using my sewing machine as well. Um, which, give me just two seconds to make sure it is actually working. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I could tell from here my string wasn't in my uh, sewing machine correctly. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this top because I want it to be a top loading. So, now I'm going to take this like this. Let's do it this way so that it's perfect. And we're going to do... Just like that. We're going to glue this to this. Again, I'm going to use my glue stick. And what I think I'm going to do in just a second is so we got that one. And we're going to cut this one because I want it um, top loading as well just like that and actually I'm gonna fold this over just like this in a slant because I want it to for my there we go because I want to put a uh, let's put some glue right here so it'll stay down I want to put a tag in it Okay, so now we have that, right? And then let's add this one. But this one, what I want to do is bring it down a little. Just like this. So what I want to do first before I put this this on here, because I think I want to keep this brown one, is I'm going to uh, figure out what I want to display on that. Which what I mean by that is taking one of these beautiful papers of music from Rachel and Bella Crafts. Her digital is just gorgeous. Look at that. Let me see if I have a bigger one. Because I printed these several... Oh, that's really pretty too. So, we're going to... Let's do this one instead. Yeah, that one's pretty, don't you think? Okay, so... Sorry, guys. Let's talk this out. <laughs> right? Okay, so we're going to... Move that out of the way and we are going to cover the envelope just like this actually I'm gonna go like this you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna glue that bad boy but I'm not gonna use a glue stick because I don't want it wrinkled so I'm gonna use this so we got this it is raining here guys so I do apologize um, while I make this because you can hear all the noise outside and then my dog. So here we go. And we're going to just add this to the back of this. And I'm just going to cut around it. So that way I'm going to cut this. Um, cut this around. Just like that. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden, guys, I thought I put this on the wrong side. But no, that's right. So, 
there's this side of the um, envelope that I covered and um, what I'm going to do now is put this one and since I'm going to put this one over it I think this is what I'm going to do but I want to uh, kind of trace it out because I don't want the whole piece I don't think on there so let's do it this way so let's cut this out And we don't want to throw this away because we can still use the other parts too. To collage something. And I hope you guys um, are following along. Let me make sure that I have the right side. Oh my goodness, did I put this upside down? Oh no, I didn't. Sometimes I do those silly things, guys. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it like this. And then I am going to take um, some scraps that I have right here. Because I put, I put a couple of my scraps in here. And I have a couple of book pages. So, let's just tear it. Oh, I don't like that way that tore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that right here. And then let's take a piece of this one. Let's kind of put it like that. So we have it this way a little bit, and then we'll uh, take this and scoot it down so that you can see it in the background. So let's glue that. There we go. We're gonna glue that. I'll cut that in a minute. Then let's glue this piece. And you could have took whatever's on your desk. That's kind of what I did. And then, you know what? Let's take a little piece of this. Okay. Then we're just gonna do like that. And then we'll just cut that. Just like that. Then we're gonna take these and put it on like that. See how that is? So let's do it from here. Okay, so now you have this, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut it off, Oop, and make sure you don't cut too close. I think I did. Oh, I did, but let me show you how we can fix that. We are going to take a piece of this. that looks like washi tape that was made. Look. Look at 
this is also in the digital digital kit and it is actually washi tape strips so that is what we're going to use it for look at that and we're going to take this actually you won't even be able to see. yeah you will because you're opening it let me get back on track okay so we're going to take this little piece and make it oh, well let's put it up right side up there we go and we fix that little piece okay there we go and then this is what the back of that is going to look like now let's do the front okay so we're gonna have we're gonna have this to decorate this 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 and this so this and this can go on a page with a cute paper clip you're just gonna clip it on to your um page just like that and you can put stuff your tags in it write in it um whatever the whatever you want to do with it so i am going to pause this real quick pick out my papers so that you don't have to see that part of it and i will cut them down to the correct sizes and i will then come back and let you guys see that part of it okay guys i'm back and i want to show you my mess <laughs> so i started gluing before i thought about it so now we're going to um glue these on but let me show you what i've cut out so i cut out this one and I am going to put it right here. And then I put a little pocket here. I already glued it because I wasn't thinking about it. And then we have a pocket here. We're gonna glue this on there and look, it gives you writing space. And then we're gonna have, we're gonna glue this on and this on and it's gonna have a uh, writing. And you're gonna have a tuck spot here a pocket there, a pocket there, and there. So what I'm gonna do first, because I think it'll, it, and you don't have to, if you don't have a sewing machine, that's okay. You do not have to do this. Um, I am going to do it just because I like the um, texture of the sewing. Um, so I'm gonna pause you guys. Okay guys, I'm back and so we've got it sewed on and you do not uh, have to sew it on. You can just glue it, make you some fake stitches if you want. I, I just sewed around it and glued it onto the envelope. So now we have a pocket here, a pocket here that can something can go in. And then you have writing space, you can do your um, to-do list here. You can do your wish list and then you have this pocket and you have a tag and it fits in here this is just a tag i had laying um from my master boards that i created um and then this is part of that again um rachel and bella crafts uh digital kit and i put it backed it with some of my book page um master board collages that i've I have a video for and I just made it a tag and then you also have so you have this so you have this pocket which you could put something in it as well and then this one so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put this in here this coin envelope I'm just gonna put it right there for the time being and then I think I am going to take a piece of this little one that I have left, this one right here, and I am going to cut it down. 
so that I can have extra writing. We're going to go ahead and fold it just like that. And we are going to make sure it's even, first of all. And then we'll see how much we need to cut off. There we go. And then that will give us some writing space in there as well. Just like that. Ooh, maybe if it goes in there. And I hope that... Um, this gives you uh, some inspiration to create something out of those envelopes that you get out of the mail. Um, you don't have to use uh, junk envelopes. You can use envelopes that somebody sends you a letter in, your pen pal in, um, whatever envelope that you find. Because it can always be created into something else. So this is this. Oh, and I forgot. Um, so you ha we have this, but I also made this a pocket on the back. So it will also fit a um, tag there as well. And we can just put a couple of pieces of ephemera there. Um, to decorate this can go with you anywhere if you need to make some notes it fits right in your uh, purse when you're done with it you can uh, put it in your journal and just clip it to the page just like that and there you go I will have all the links down below for all the youtubers that are collaborating with Rachel and Bella crafts um, I'll also have her uh, Etsy shop down below where you can get the uh, beautiful digital kit, the Christmas, uh, Vintage Christmas. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks.